We're going to watch Dr. Bethel's presentation at the Board of Directors. As you know, he's the head of the CAC Committee, or I guess he's the Board Representative of the CAC Committee. And I, I never did understand. I'm not quite sure what to make of this guy. I mean, he's been there for a while. I saw him at the Kendra James ceremony. Remember Kendra James? I think that was her name. She was shot by the police, young black woman. She was shot by the police. It was several years ago, five, six, seven years ago, as she tried to drive away from a stop. So she got killed by an officer who said he feared for his life, of course. That's, that's all they have to say, and they get off scot-free. Anyway, he appeared at, this, at the service for her. So I'm thinking, well, this guy must be somewhat progressive, right? I mean, he, he's going to the service, and he's talking, and he's being representative for the family. He's got to be somewhat progressive. But he's curious because you never really hear him take any strong positions about anything on that board. He'll Now and then he'll make a point like he didn't like the tire contractor once. I remember that. But then in the end, he voted for the tire contractor. I mean, everything you see on that board is they might question something, but in the end, they vote for it. So I think it's a phony if you want to know the truth. But I was doing a little digging into uh, Bethel, and I saw there's a Mercury article here, and it turns out that Bethel uh, signed on on in favor of Measure 36, the successful measure that amended the state constitution to find marriage as between only a man and a woman. So in his mind, human rights does not include sexual rights. The right to pursue happiness or the right for uh, LGBT Americans to live equally with the same rights as heteros. Um, and that's somewhat troubling, uh, I suppose. I, I mean, you really... In other words, he's kind of a right-wing black. That's what that means. If you just want, if you just want to spell it out, I mean, it's troubling, and that that might explain some of the the lack of uh, real advocacy that Bethel has on this board. I mean, you would think somebody with his background would be a much bigger advocate for minority rights, especially in the Northeast. I mean, he said nothing about the service cuts, and that really hit the uh, minority group, the minority population hardest. The bus riders are basically the ones that are, you know, the low-income and minority people. And he didn't didn't raise a stink about that at all. He went along with it all. Um, so I've, I've always wondered about him. He always appears that he's asleep half the time. He says he's got a lazy eye. I think he's just... It's boring as shit, those board meetings. I think he just gets bored and falls asleep. It's understandable, Dr. Bethel. I mean, who can sit through that shit except somebody like me? And I, don't, I can't sit through it there. I can watch it here because I can dissect it and evaluate it and evaluate you people. Anyway, here's what he has to say on CAT. Let's see what he says. You have in your packet the June 19 meetings uh, minutes as well as July 17 agenda for the CAT uh, committee. Um, and also in your package today, um, board members, you did receive the highlights of CAT from our July 17th meeting. Uh, our next meeting will be in September since we take the month of August off. But however, during the month of August, uh, TriMet will be coordinating a couple of opportunities for the members of the CAT to tour the Portland, Milwaukee um, light rail project. And their greatest concern really has, along with that, is, is really the Bybee Street Station, which we've talked about, about being able to get up the hill and that and I think the solution for that has been that there will be a bus stop on either end to be able to bring people up but that is one area that they are concerned in with that Mr. President that will conclude what I need to say about CAT for this month and I'll be happy to entertain any questions thank you Dr. Bethel uh, other <laughs> don't you, I, it's, well it's very interesting I, yeah right I mean there's nothing there like, okay so the the CAT committee is concerned about that station. We'll see what becomes of that. Now, my good friend, uh, now deceased, Michael Levine, who uh, just died one day. I mean, you know, I still, I still don't even process it for some reason. Uh, anyway, Michael Levine, who's now deceased, was great, one of the greatest advocates in Portland. Uh, always was criticizing the CAC committee for being powerless and useless and basically window dressing. And uh, I have no reason to disbelieve anything Michael Levine has said about anything, because if you look at his stuff, and I've looked at all of his stuff for his entire advocacy life here in Portland, he's right about 95% of it. Okay, and uh, he never got anywhere with TriMet either, just like me and other people. Anyway, 
what did Dr. Bethel say? Not a hell of a lot. You know, another report that doesn't have any any meat to it. 